Okay, another Barvember bar modelling question. Some animals are put into two fields. There are the same total number of animals in each field. In the first field, there are 40 more sheep than horses. And in the second field, there are 24 more horses than sheep. And we're told four sevenths of all the animals are sheep. And the final question is, how many horses are there in each field? Right. Um, now, I will admit that uh, I wasn't entirely sure how to go about drawing this at first, and it did have me stumped. Um, and finally, I came up with something that, that um, I think, well, that certainly showed me what, um, and, and what I ought to be doing, and it seemed to work out. So I'll share that with you. Um, but as you know, with all of these bar models, um, I certainly, I draw what makes sense to me, which might not be the same as somebody else. Um, it, it has to be what makes sense to you. Um, and on, on that line, you know, it can be very difficult to follow somebody else's diagram of what they've done, their, their um, model answer, because you're not hearing the explanation and you don't necessarily, you can't necessarily see what everything represents, which is why I do these video explanations. But anyway, enough of that. I will start trying to draw this in a way that makes sense to me. Okay, so what have we got going on here? We've got animals split into two fields. So I'm going to do something for field one, and I'm going to do something for field two. Okay, so, um, right, I'm going to draw a block for horses and for sheep. Okay, so this is going to be horses and this is going to be sheep. All right, and um, what are we told? We are told in the first field that there are 40 more sheep than horses. So I'm going to add on 40. Oh, that's really terrible. Much better, hopefully. OK, so that's 40. Um, I actually have no idea how big this ought to be compared to this. Um, you know, you know um, when you're drawing it, what it means and what you know and what you don't know, as it were. Um, OK, let's go on to field two. So we've got horses and we've got sheep. OK, now um, let me just say that this block is not the same value as this block. It looks like it is. I don't know the value of these blocks. All right, all I know is this block is the same value as this block. This block is the same value as this block. OK, now in the second field, um, there are 24 more horses than sheep. So I'm going to add on an amount for the sheep. It's, I'm going to make it this size because 24 is just over sort of half of the 40. So that's going to be 24. OK, right. Now, what have I got? Well, what I think I have now is I'm comparing field one and field two and I'm comparing the, the sheep to the horses as I think I have a difference here. And the, OK, and this is gives me a difference between the sheep and the horses of 40 take away 24, which is 16. OK, and why is that important? important well because I'm I'm given some information here I'm told that four sevenths of all the animals are sheep so if four sevenths are sheep then three sevenths okay must be horses all right and the difference is one seventh okay which and the difference here um, in animals is 16 so that's quite important I now know that one seventh is equal to 16 all right so that's important um, and, and what I can do with that now is work out how many animals there are all together 
So if I do um, 16 times 7 for 7 sevenths, okay, so that's um, 42, all right, and that's going to give me 11, all right, so the total number of animals, okay, let's do this, the total number of animals in both fields, okay, is um, 112. So that's the total number of animals in both fields. From that then, I can work out um, how many animals there are in each field because we're told that there, there are the same total number of animals in each field. So um, if I divide 112 by 2, which gives me 56, that tells me how many animals are in each field. Okay, so 56 animals in total in this field and 56 animals in total in this field. Okay. I hope you're with me so far. Right, where does that take me? Okay, um, right, I know that there are, let's look at field one, I know that there are 40 sheep in field one, okay, and the remainder, so the difference between 40 and 56 must be split between horses and sheep, okay, because that, that's these two are equal values. All right, so um, 56 take away 40 is 16. Okay, so 56 take away 40 equals 16. And if I divide 16 by 2, that gives me 8. So there must be 8 horses here, 8 sheep here, 40 sheep here. So... Um, so that's good. All right, let's try the same here. Um, these are equal value plus these 24 horses. If um, I do 56 take away um, 24, that leaves me with 32. Okay, so I know that these two together are 32. Um, 32 divided by 2 is 16, so that must represent 16, and that must represent 16, okay? So, um, now let's have a look at, obviously with all of these questions, there could be any number of specific questions asked. We're asked, how many horses are there in each field? Okay, well, let's have a look here. Um, here there are 48 sheep, um, but there's only 8 horses, so 8 horses in field one. Okay, and um, let's have a look in field two. We've got um, 16, okay, add 24 um, horses, okay, which gives me 40. So there must be, I think there's 40 horses in field two which gives me, um, and I, I can check this, let's just check this, that gives me 48 horses, There's I think there's 48 horses in total, okay, 8 in field 1, 40 in field 2, which is my, my question answered, but I'm just going to double check because I know that there are, um, that 3 sevenths of the total animals are horses. I know that one seventh is 16, so I'm just going to check by doing 16 um, times 3. Okay. And that's going to be, give me 18, 48. So that makes sense. That matches up with this 48 horses in total. So I think I'm right. Right, you might draw it differently, and there's probably lots of different diagrams out there, but um, this it it seems to have come up with the right answer, which is uh, what we're after in the end. Okay, thank you very much. Bye.